All right, lesson 10.1, areas of parallelograms, triangles, trapezoids, and kites. Now, the area of a square, rectangle, and parallelogram formula is the same. It's area equals base times height. All right, so base times height, base times height. All right, here for a parallelogram, it's base times height. Now, to help you understand the area of a parallelogram, we're going to take this triangle, attach it over here on this side, and what do we get? We get a rectangle. That's why it's the same formula. All right, then we have an area of a triangle formula. Half base times height. So half base times height. Half base times height. And here we have half the base times the height. All right, now, got to be careful with this triangle here. The base is the actual bottom part of the triangle. And the height always goes from the highest point straight down. It has to be perpendicular all right, to this horizontal line here. All right, so watch out for that. Now, very important, the base and height of any polygon are always perpendicular. All right, example one, find the perimeter and area of the polygon. All right, well, perimeter means we're adding up all the side lengths, so perimeter is equal to 7 plus 8, plus 7 plus 8, which gives you 30. And this is going to be inches. Done with that. Then we want to figure out the area. It's a parallelogram, so we have base times height. The base is 8, and the height is 6. All right, so we have 48 inches squared, because we're talking about area. All right, for the next one, the perimeter is 6 plus 11 plus what else? This length here. Well, what is that length? Well, what type of triangle do we have here? That's a 3, 4, 5 triangle. All right, or you could just use Pythagorean theorem, but we were able to apply our Pythagorean triples there. All right, so we have 22 units for the perimeter. And then for area, we have half of the base, which is 6, times the height, which is 4. So I have 3 times 4. The area is 12 units squared. Done. All right, for the next one, perimeter, I have 5 plus 13, plus, what is this side length? That's going to be 12, all right? Using Pythagorean triples once again, or you could use the Pythagorean theorem. So we end up with 30 meters. All right, then for area, area is simply half the base times the height. So 6 times 5, area is equal to 30 meters squared. Done. Example two, find the value of x using the given information. All right, they give you the area for part A. We're working with a triangle, so area is half base times height. They give us the area, which is 36. The base is 12. And I don't know what the height is. That's x. All right, so it's just basic algebra. Just take your time. Divide by 6 now, and x is equal to 6. Done. For the next one, perimeter, they give me. That's x, that's 14. So perimeter, in this case, is 2 times the width plus 2 times the length. Or in other words, you're just adding up all the side lengths. So 44 is equal to, I'll just do it this way. So it's absolutely clear. Or you can use the formula, your choice. All right, same deal. All right, so we subtract 28, and I get 16 is equal to 2x, divide by 2, and x is equal to 8. Done. For the next one, I have area of a parallelogram. All right, so area is equal to base times height. So I have 84 is equal to the base, which is x times the height, which is 7. All right, so I divide by 7, 
And seven goes in there 12 times. Done. All right, we have some new area formulas here. Area of a trapezoid is half the height times base one plus base two, or base sub one plus base sub two. All right, so if you recall, for a trapezoid, you have two bases. All right, the two parallel segments are your bases. All right, parallel. And then you have your height. Then there's the area of a rhombus and a kite. They both have the same formula. It's half diagonal one times diagonal two. All right, so half of diagonal one times diagonal two. Half of diagonal one times diagonal two. All right. Example three, find the area of a figure. All right, well, we have a trapezoid here. So using our formula, it's half of the height times base sub one plus base sub two. So I have half of the height, which is four, and base sub one is eight, and base sub two is six. So I get two times 14. All right, the area is simply 28 inches squared. For the next one, part B, I have a kite. So it's half of the diagonal, the first diagonal times the second diagonal. So we have the first diagonal, which is going to be 12. And what is the second diagonal going to be? Well, that's 3. So this also here has to be 3. So the whole thing's 6. So I have half of 12, which is 6. So I have 6 times 6, 36. And it's going to be feet squared. For part C, we have graph the points. All right, graph the points that form a polygon and find its area. Okay, negative 4 up 1. Then I have negative 1 up 3. Then I have 2 up 1. I have back 1, down 1. All right, there's my shape. All right. So I have these diagonals here. All right, it's a rhombus. So the area is half of diagonal one times diagonal two. So I have half of diagonal one. Diagonal one, we'll say, is six. And diagonal two is four units. All right, so I have half of 6, which is 3. 3 times 4, the area is 12. It's going to be units squared. All righty. And last couple examples. Find the value of x using the given information. All right, we have a trapezoid here. So using the area of a trapezoid formula. All right, they give us the area. That's 36. The height is x, and base 1 is 5, and base 2 is 4. doesn't matter what order you put them in. So you have 36 is equal to half of x times 9. Okay, now, if I do half of 9, I'm going to end up with a fraction or a decimal. Instead of having to deal with that, I'm just going to multiply by 2 on both sides, so I get rid of the half. So I have 72 equals 9x. Now I'll divide by 9. And x is equal to 8. You didn't have to do it that way. That was my choice. All right, part B. Area of a kite is half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. So I get half of diagonal 1, which is, that's going to be 5 here, so that's 10. And then diagonal 2 is, this is x here. This is going to be what right here? That's going to be 12. All right, Pythagorean triple, once again. So it's going to not be 12x, it's going to be x plus 12 for diagonal 2. Watch out for that. And the area is 170. All right, so now I have 170 is equal to 5 times x plus 12. All right, I'll divide by 5 now. And I get 34 is equal to x plus 12. Subtract 12. And x is equal to 22. All right, next problem. I have a rhombus here. So the area is half of diagonal 1 times diagonal 2. 
So diagonal one is what? That's 15, so this also has to be 15 here. So the diagonal is 30. Oh, this is a five. Okay, and then this is x, so this also has to be x here. So together I get two x, and the area is 360. So I have 360 is equal to 15 times 2x. 360 is equal to 30x. Divide by 30. And x is equal to 12. Done. All right, if you have any questions, please make sure to ask. Begin the assignment.